The song of the tempest by Walter Scott. Stern eagle of the far northwest, thou art pierced in the grasp of thunderbolt, thou whose rushing pinions the ocean to madness, thou the destroyer of herds of the scattered of navies. Admit the screams of a rage, admit the scream be loud as the cry of a perishing nation, the rushing of the wings be like the roar of ten thousand waves, yet here in thine eye of a haste, hear the voice of a rim canier. Thou hast met the pine trees to thrown them, the dark green heats lie prostrate beside their uprooted stems. Thou hast met the rider of the ocean, the tall, the strong bark of a fearless rover, and she has struck to thee the topsail, which she had not veiled to royal armada. Thou hast met the tower that pierced its crest among the clothes, a battled massive tower of the jar of former days, and the copestone of the turret is lying upon its hospitable half. And thou do who shall stop, proud companion of clouds, or hears the voice of a rim canal. The verses that can stop the stack of the forest, iron and the dark coloured dog is opening on its trick. There are verses that can make the wild hawk pause on the wing like a falcon's verse for hood and for chess. Who knows the shrill whistle of the fowler? Well, who can smoke at the scream of a drowning marina and the crash of a ravaged forest and the groan of overwhelmed crowds? The church are fallen in the moment of prayer. The sound of the also must list when they are chanted by the voice of Rem Kenal. And after four has the rod on the ocean, with its ring the hands on the beach. And after four has the rod on the land, the husband man folds his arms in despair. Cease thou the waving of opinions, and the ocean reposes in a dark strength. Keys thou the flashing of an eye, and the thunderbolt sleep in the armada of Odin. Be thou still, at my bidding, viewless race of northwestern heaven. Sleep word the voice of Norna Remkanir. Eagle of the far north western waters, or stood the voice of Rem Kanir, or closed the white sails at her bidding, and folded them in peace by thy sight. A blessing beyond thy retiring path, or stoops from the palace on high, soft be the slumbers of the caverns of the unknown ocean, rest the destiny shall again awaken we, Eagle of the northwest, or stood the voice of Rem Kanir.